Hey guys, and welcome, welcome to another segment of Rousal Bro. We got another exciting one for you guys today. We're going to teach you how to draw Nicolas Cage as a cartoon, okay? So drawing characters is pretty easy. It's a pretty straightforward process. I try to re, uh, break it down so that you can understand. I'm going to go uh, as slow as I possibly can so that you can understand what's going on so that you can, if you're interested in learning, be able to do this for yourself at home, at a party, uh, you know, wherever. There's a lot of people that generally tend to like this kind of stuff. So guys, what I like to draw with, I, I, I like to use uh, Crayola markers. I use these markers pretty much because they're very versatile. The only downside to Crayola markers, I think, is that um, they may run out of ink a little bit faster than some of the other markers. But as far as line quality and stuff like that, um, hands down, I think these are really good markers. So you don't have to get anything really expensive to do this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get started. How I draw my caricatures is I look at my, my photo here or the person that's in front of me. And I try to picture their head as a, as a basic shape okay so before I start doing that I'm gonna show you something really quick you'll see this little uh, these little illustrations here and they all look like uh, little heads but they're kind of colored in all black so that they look like a shadow okay so really what I'm doing is I'm trained I've trained my eye to see the head kind of like this before I start looking at any of the features okay and once you master this particular part the rest of it is pretty easy okay so let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna take off my cap here and like I said we're gonna look at the whole outside shape of the head and you can exaggerate it whichever way you want so I'll, I'll do something like this here Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll draw the upper half of the drawing. I usually start with my inner line first. So since he has a kind of setback forehead, I'll do something like this. Okay. Alright, so pretty much we have the, the silhouetted form of the head. So the next thing that you want to do is obviously you want to start um, putting your features in, okay? So I tend to draw from top to bottom, left to right. All of the features in the face are pretty much basic shapes. You, you can't get away from the basic shape idea. If you start thinking about all these complicated ideas and concepts, it makes caricature seem very uh, difficult. But it's not difficult to do as long as you can draw a square, a circle, an oval, a rectangle. These are the shapes that we're going to be using. Okay? So if you look at the eyes, eyes are generally like little... Uh, they're pretty much uh, what, what, uh, what, what am I trying to say here they're pretty much rectangles not rectangles um, uh, squares or I'm, my mind's blocking up right now but anyway their squares kind of turn sideways the long ones you know I think they're called rectangles or whatever okay so we're going to do those real quick
okay now what I do is I go to the eyes all right so the eyes are pretty much going to be I like to use uh, tree leaves so I'll do something like this Okay, and then I'll add the eyeball inside like so. And then I'll leave like a little bit of light right there. Okay, now guys, let's go ahead and do our nose. So you always wanna generally start where the end of the nose is first and then you add the bridge. It's easier to do it that way because sometimes if you draw the bridge first, you overshoot the nose. So I'll start here, kind of like so. Okay. And then I'll draw the bridge. Okay, now the next thing that I'll do is I'll draw the mouth here. So once again, the mouth is a basic shape. I usually start with looking at the, if you look at the mouth here, it generally has like a, you see the little small lines? That kind of tells me where I want to put my mouth at. So I'll do something like this. Okay, and now I can kind of see where I want that mouth. So I'll go here. And then I'll put the T shape here, or the bottom shape, excuse me. And then I'll put my top lip here. Now let's just add the teeth in. One big basic shape once again. And if you want to exaggerate your shapes a little bit more, that's up to you. I don't exaggerate too much. I kind of, kind of uh, want to keep it in the same. Uh, I want it to look like them. I don't want to insult them. So a lot of times, uh, I'll, I'll try to. I'll exaggerate a little bit, but I'll keep it to a minimum. You don't want to get, like I said, out of control with it. Okay, now from here, I'll pretty much just add whatever small lines I want. So I'll add like a, my small lines here, very sparingly. And then we'll just kind of darken in those eyebrows. like so okay so we got a pretty good cartoon we can just maybe give him some um, give him like a little collar or whatever I don't like to draw floating heads and then you just put your bottom half here and well pretty much guys we got the process down to a science so for my particular style, I do like to add uh, shading to the drawing. So for the shading, I'll use a, a gray marker. So I'll do something like this and I'll just add a little bit of shade here. And I'll just pick a light source, kind of like if my light's coming from this side of the paper here, then I'll make all my gray lines to this side of the face. So any, so let's say this line here is on this side of the face, so logically, it's going to have a little shade. Then the nose is kind of turned away. So logically, you'll have a little bit of shade here. And this is a three-quarter view, so um, it really uh, does something good for the drawing. All right, so I'll go ahead and I'll add just a little shade over here. And then I like to add some just kind of here under the bottom of the face. Okay. 
go ahead and add some shade here. Okay. And uh, now the next thing that we'll do is I'm going to get out a a marker to do the hair with so usually I like to use like a black marker kind of like this one and this is just a uh, this is a uh, poster marker you can buy it any Walmart or dollar store if you have a dollar store near you you can do that and then what I do is I just kind of pull the hair like this I'll start at the top I kind of divide it into sections okay and then I'll come to the side over here and I'll kind of do the same thing. And then here I'll just kind of do the same thing. And let's just darken those eyebrows in. Okay. And I have one little marker here that I like to use at the end of the drawing. So I have that here. This is just like a regular little uh, uh, Sharpie marker. So I'll, I'll just use this to darken in certain features, sort of like the, like the pupils here. I like to make those real dark on people that have light colored eyes. You see how that makes a real difference. Also, I like to use it around the edges of the mouth because what that does is it brings out the shape of the smile. That's something that you really want to key on and get a, a, a firm understanding of is the smile. If you guys have not watched any of my other videos, I have plenty of videos uh, about how to draw the mouth uh, how to draw the teeth, how to draw a smile. Um, it's not that hard to do. Once again, I break it down to a basic shape for you. And then um, from there, um, you'll be able to draw anyone's mouth. Okay. So pretty much, guys, uh, I have my drawing down to a science. That is uh, how to draw a caricature starring Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Very talented actor. I like his movies. And uh, that's it, guys. So I'm going to just uh, put the name here and we'll just put it in some nice little letters. And then I'm going to go ahead and sign my work. I want to thank you guys for watching our video and tutorial today. We'll be posting more videos and tutorials soon. Um, if you'd like to see your favorite celebrity drawn as a uh, cartoon, just uh, send us a request on the request list and uh, we'll get you taken care of. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe below and have a blessed and wonderful day. Just let me darken that top lip and add a little bit more gray to my beard. And uh, one more thing here. No, you guys didn't see this. I can put the cleft right here. All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. See you next time.